watching a graphic. Look at that. Central Perk is the answer, okay? But you boom roasted it, you got it wrong. 128,651 of you just nailed it. Remember when there was a single potato on the tray at Central Perk? Yes, I'll have a, a, a raw potato and a red bull, please. Q2! Here we go. Go! So my neck tab a hard back on a lot of my machine. Q3! In Rachel's first appearance in the series, what does she wear? Wedding dress, black skirt, or a Talk about free bang. Hey, right. <laughs> Alright, when Rachel first walks into Central Park, she's wearing her wedding dress. After leaving Barry at the altar, 112,302 got it right. Barry was an orthodontist and a huge jerk. He cheated on Rachel with her, her, her maid of honor. Don't do that. The shade. Question number four. Coming at the door. Here we go. Before they were cast on Friends. Courtney Cox, Lisa Kudrow, or Jennifer Aniston. And bring out all your friends' knowledge tonight. Okay. Before. Dancing in the dark. Check it out! Yeah, 61,962 people got it right. He stayed with his grandmother one summer to try to make it a... But tonight, add a point multiplier right now. Okay. Points get you higher levels. The higher the level, the easier it is to win. Let's move on to question. Here we go. Q6. Wait. Check it out. Even though she just kept coming back, Janice still couldn't edge out Monica and Ross's father, Jack. Jack Geller appeared. Oh. Savage question. They're like, if, yeah, all right. Well, 26,289 people got it right. Jack Geller's character was in 
22 episodes. That's two more than Janice, leaving Tom Selleck's Richard Burke in the dust with just 10. What about question seven? Here we go. Season seven, question seven. Let's go to work. When Joey wears all of Chandler's clothes at once, what is the outermost layer? Sweater vest, short sleeve shirt, or blazer? Y'all know this one. Come on now, be with it. Let's go to work. Blah, 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 blah. It's kale, but it's juice. And that's gross. Okay. In the one where no one's ready, Joey takes revenge on Chandler by wearing everything he owns. Look at that. Huh? Was that outer layer? It was a short sleeve shirt. Oh, that's right. 22,000. <laughs> Nate, the eight, is feeling great as mine. Here we go. Which Riverdale star never appeared on Friends? Luke Perry, Marisol Nichols, or Mark Consuelos? Many Riverdale residents graced the Friends set, but Luke Perry... Yeah. Son Ben, Mark Consuelos, and Marisol Nichols appeared in one episode. Yee yee! Alright, it's time for a prize, y'all. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready to quiz? Okay, here we go. Question nine. Which of these parts did Joey successfully audition for? Claude, Dr. Stryker, Remore, or Dying Man? All right, his hernia made him a shoe in for playing Dying Man. Oh, my God, that's a savage question. Oh. Savage question song. Sorry, you got it wrong. Savage question song. There's a savage question song. Hit him with the shoulders. Hey, I'm getting older. I was watching an episode of when I first started HQ, and I sounded so youthful, and now I feel like Barack Obama when he was leaving office with grades and stress. <laughs> Just kidding. 9,030 of you got it right. Dying man is the answer I was looking for, baby, baby. Oh. Let's take it on down the road to question number 10. But before we do that, six cents going out to 9,030 players. Three questions remain to the next prize. Oh boy, what you gonna do? You gonna take the cash and dash? Or you gonna stay and play? Sheila, let me love you till the morning. Let's go to heaven. Here we go. Which is not performance in Central Perk? Phoebe does say. Please give me money so I can buy a computer, but not as a part of a song. Please give me money. Oh, my gosh. That's another savage question. Oh, 
it's getting savage. The savagery. The savagery is real. All right, Q12. Here's another prize. A baby, baby. Oh, and another one. Funny story. On my way to work tonight, I saw Fat Joe sitting shotgun in a Range Rover. And I said, hey, Fat Joe. And he looked at me and he went. And I, I felt so cool. Yeah. All right. Lean back. Okay, so I was done. Terror Squad. Here we go. Question 12. In the one with the embryos, what is Chandler holding as he rides the dog statue? Sandwich, duck, or stuffed dog? Get it right. I flip some money to you. That's how that works. And remember, extra lives are for you. All right. When Chandler wins the girl's apartment in a game, he rides in on a white dog statue with a sandwich in hand. <laughs> yep. Yep. Sandwich. 3,710. Got it right. What a hideous statue. <laughs> was that a greyhound? A giant whippet? Those are beautiful dogs, but the statue was trash. Time for me to flip some money to 3,710 of you. 27 cents! Huh? Who won it? Take it, if you want it. It's more than a quarter. That's what you ordered. Hey! This is gross, but I gotta be healthy. My doctor said I gotta change things up, start having vegetables, and I was like, you're not my dad. Okay. <laughs> 14,900, uh, whoops. <laughs> That's not the number at all. 1,494 players chose to take 27 cents. We still have 4,355 in the game. Three questions until the jackpot. Let's go to work, shall we? Question 13. Which lyric is in the full version of I'll Be There For You? Your bus is running late and work began at 8. You missed a second date. What's it going to be? This is gross. And it's ten dollars a bottle. That's disgusting. Blech. Woo! Green juice. Okay. Ah, a line from the Rembrandt's jam goes: "You're still in bed at ten, and work began at eight. Thankfully, all the friends will be there for you. Two thousand nine hundred forty-nine of you got it right. The song basically describes my life. <laughs> Psych. No, it doesn't. I'm places early. You're not my dad." <laughs> That's so fun to say to people that aren't your dad, obviously. But like, say, hey, can you pass me that? No, you're not my real dad. Question 14, Jelly Beans. Here we go. The French poster in Monica's apartment is an advertisement for what? The ballet, toys, or historic cafe? All right. The poster behind Monica's TV was an ad, almost an, an advertisement for all beauty show mount. Hope I said that right. There's a long defunct department store. The advertisement specifically names jouets or toys in French. Yeah, 1,625 still alive. Uh, I can dig it. I can dig it. It's time for the final question of the evening. Question 15. You know what I mean. Question 15. That's a number on your screen. Uh, yeah, you like that. Me too. Here we go. Q15, babies. In the famous Friends publicity shot, who is Joey sharing a milkshake with? Phoebe and Monica, Phoebe and Chandler, or Ross and Rachel? Huh? What's it going to be? It's up to you. Hmm? Hmm? I'm trying to make a gif. Okay. <laughs> it makes sense that Joey would be surrounded by ladies with Phoebe on his left side, Monica on his right side. Yeah. So if you got Phoebe and Monica, you just won HQ trivia, babies. 990 players just won the game. <laughs> I'm drinking green juice and giving money 
out to people I never met before. Giving you money, bringing the green juice, and giving out money to the people at home or wherever you are. Playing the game, hey, come on, and sing it the same, yeah. A dollar fifty two. Do what it do, Maddie Pooh. Come through. Treffy, 11. Who else? Who else we got? Can, can I see him? <laughs> there we go. Uh, KD Smiley. Hotchwad. Team Money. Low Kane Paul. Darth Shiva. Two Skunsker. Grandpa R. Uh, uh, Doxies. Two Doxies. Man. Congratulations, y'all. That's crazy. <laughs> you did that. You just won HQ. Go buy that single potato sitting in the display case at Central Perk. I've been your host, Matt Richards. Follow me right here on the socials. At Matt was funny. Yes. Hit me up. Please explain all those confusing flashbacks from friends. How does Rachel keep meeting Chandler for the first time multiple times? Huh? Friends Night continues with words coming up right after this. HQ is back tomorrow night at 9 in the p.m. E.T. Phone home. Good night and sleep tight. Don't let the glitches bite. Woo! Bye!